And hello everyone, it's me, Iron Opera, and today I decided to make a video on top 5 Hearts of Iron 4 mods. So the reason why I decided to make this video is because I have had a ton of experience with Hoi 4 mods, and I like to share the experience with you guys and show you some of the best Hearts of Iron 4 mods ever created. So let's jump into the video and let's see the mods. Let's go. Number 5 Endsig. So Endsig is a mod which adds a bunch of scenarios for the game. Bunch of historical scenarios which many of them are extremely difficult. For example, there is a scenario 1945 which is actually called Endsieg and you can try playing it as Germany. Here we can see the world in 1945. Here we see we start in 1945 and we can see Germany in a very tough situation fighting the Comintern and the Allies. It's basically having three fronts if not more right now. It's having the Eastern Front and the Western Front and if you could call this uh, maybe a southern front I guess in Italy because the allies have landed in Italy and they've set up a government kingdom of Italy so Germany is having a very tough situation they are low on manpower they're low on equipment everything is going bad the Soviets are right next to Berlin very close to it they could take it any moment Germans have lost a ton of land some of their troops are even encircled yeah Germany is just having a tough situation in 1945 so if you're a player who wants some challenge you can play as Italy or maybe Germany in Endsieg like 1945 1944 1943 and I bet it's not gonna be easy for you at least for the first time to win uh, the Allies and the Comintern because Germany is in a very bad shape in 1945 and it's very tough to win it but it's still possible many players have won the NC campaign but yeah if you want some challenge you want to play in a different scenario in a different timeline a little bit or more further into World War 2 this is a mod for you if you want some challenge and go and subscribe to NSEEK and go play this great mod. Number 4 Old World Blues so this mod is a Hearts of Iron 4 mod which is based on Fallout New Vegas Old World Blues DLC so this is a mod which is very interesting because it has all the interesting nations or enclaves from Fallout New Vegas so as we can see the mod is only based in America there is no Europe we are in America so in North America here we can see the factions enclaves and the nations are going from Mexico to Canada basically to North America as we can see they're planning to extend the map right here to the East Coast uh, from the West Coast so right now uh, the map is pretty big already but they're planning to make it bigger the greatest thing about this mod is probably in my opinion the focus tree is nearly for every single enclave or a nation as we can see everybody has a special focus tree and the focus trees are huge like it doesn't matter which enclave or nation you are it most likely has a focus tree everybody has their own events own focuses own interesting paths they can go through and as we can see there is a special research tree we can see we can research laser muskets we can research armor from fallout we can research motorcycles trucks we can research dynamites more muskets different doctrines robots navy yes even navy ships we can research planes scrap fighters we can get a zeppelin later on then we can get a transport helicopter we have a lot of interesting things in the research tree as we can see this entire hud or the hood is very special the buttons here everything is looking very good this map right here is awesome you can see the capitals with new little uh, marks you can see that the map is special there are rivers you can pass through and navally invade through this map is way bigger than the normal map for America we can see more provinces and states and we can see rivers and lakes all around the map so this is a pretty cool mod you can play it you can create some special uh divisions and get the fallout feeling like every country nearly here or an enclave has a focus tree and uh 
its own generals and its own ways to do something so yeah guys I recommend playing this mod if you're a fan of Fallout if you're not you'll definitely become one after playing this mod this mod has very good developers they are working on this mod constantly and updating it I could have put it up front in this list but I'm gonna keep it here on the list it's a super good mod I recommend playing it it's getting updated it's getting a ton of new things all the time it's an awesome mod go and play it go check it out number three kaiserreich kaiserreich is a mod which is based on what if germany won the first world war so as we can see germany is much stronger than in world war one because of course in this scenario they won world war one and they created a faction called reichspact created a lot of puppets in the east and also a puppet in the west which is belgium as we can see there's three factions right now uh, one of them being entente one of them is the reichspact and the third international there's a lot of ideologies like the syndicalists, uh, the authoritarian democrats, social democrats, autocrats and many others. And as we can see, Russia is weakened a lot uh, because it has lost its lands in Belarusia and Ukraine and the Kuban region and many other regions. You can play as Germany, try to destroy every other country completely with your strong alliance. Or maybe you can play as one of the other countries in the world, join the Entente or play as the Entente or the Third International and try to resist the German German power I guess German superiority on the planet and on the globe and try to take down Germany I guess or you can play as Russia maybe and uh, reconquer your lands and try to fight off Germany and maybe join one of these great alliances who knows well it's a very interesting mod very good focus trees for countries is very well balanced out has very good events and a ton of special things so nearly any country you play in Europe has a focus free and that's very good in my opinion let's jump to the next mod number two the Cold War mod so the Cold War mod is based on Cold War of course it has multiple scenarios you can start in 1949 in 1960 or in 1973 I think they're adding also a 1980 scenario not quite sure about that okay here we are in the Cold War we can see the world in 1949 we can see divided Germany which is divided into federal Republic of Germany and not yet but soon into Eastern Germany right now it's the Soviet occupation zone later on it will be East Germany and yes we can see the world in the Cold War and the interesting thing about this mod is, yes, you can play in the Cold War, but it has its own special research tree, right? Look at this research, it's very interesting. You get technologies from the Cold War, look at all of these pictures, look how this mod has been created, it makes everything look better. There's like real pictures of the tanks and the mechanized and their tilleries and everything else. You can make a lot of special divisions. You can even research helicopters and a bunch of other things. So it's pretty cool in my opinion. Soviet Union and so does US have a huge focus tree. It's very interesting. You can do a lot of things with their focuses and yeah in my opinion it's a pretty cool mod if you like the cold war then you could play this mod you can you can try to win the chinese civil war it's a pretty good mod works very well in multiplayer also you can play either the us any country any country here ussr maybe try to win the cold war as the ussr or try to win the cold war as america or any other country you can pick many countries have a focus tree for example here yugoslavia has a huge focus tree as we can see I'm scrolling it goes down and down look at this huge focus tree for Yugoslavia countries have big focus trees special divisions special research special pictures special HUDs and a ton of different things so I recommend playing this mod it's very special very cool actually has a few fueled rivers and passing places and a couple of islands here and there and makes the game a bit more realistic in a couple of places so i recommend getting this mod if you like cold war it's a very good mod and yeah guys let's jump to the next mod number one road to 56 so why did i pick road to 56 because road to 56 is the best mod in hearts of iron 4 yes whatever you say against me road to 56 is the best mod in hearts of iron 4 let me tell you why 
why? Because it adds focus trees to so many countries. Look at the focus tree of Poland. Oh, there's a new focus tree. Look at the focus tree of Romania. Oh, there's a new focus tree. Look at the focus tree of Finland. Oh, a new focus tree. Look at the focus tree of Sweden. A new focus tree. Look at the focus tree of Norway. A new focus tree. Look at the focus tree of Denmark. A new focus tree. Look at Estonia. A new focus tree. Exactly. So, what does Road to 56 do? Road to 56 extends the game until 1956. The research goes until 1956, so you can research and play a long time. Every country, not nearly every country, a ton of countries have their own focus tree. There's a lot of releasable nations and the new countries or puppets like uh, Belgian Congo, Iceland, um, Greenland and many others. So yeah, there's also Danzig and some others. Danzig should be just a city, but they made it an entire state. I don't really like that. But yeah, there's a lot of cool things in the mod. New researchers, new spirits, new focus trees, which is very important. And you can make an empire nearly as any country possible. You can create a super magnificent empire. So, Road to 56 is, in my opinion, the best mod, is the most balanced mod for multiplayer, and yeah, it's a very good mod, doesn't lag at all, and it makes the game way better than the base version because it adds focus trees to miners and other countries, so you can actually do something as some other country than a major and do some great things for a country and maybe make it a great empire out of a small country you will create a big empire so yeah thank you everybody for watching yeah guys thank you everybody for watching it was me iron operin don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like if you like the video tell me if i should make more of these top five top ten less and yeah you can tell me your favorite mods which mods did i forget which which mods were better in your opinion? What should have I had on the first place? What should have I had on the last place? You can tell me all about that in the comments. So yeah guys, don't forget to join our Discord and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. See you guys, bye bye.